wireless sniffing. Let's begin. I'd like you to imagine that it's Tuesday afternoon and our boss walks up and says, I need you to collect some wireless local area network traffic so we can do some protocol analysis on it. So our first answer is absolutely yes. And then as the boss walks away, we wonder, okay, how exactly do we pull that off? One way of doing that in a Cisco environment, if you have a wireless LAN controller and some access points, is we can go ahead and convert one of our access points or put an additional one in and use it in what's called sniffer mode. In sniffer mode, we can tell it exactly which channel to pay attention to, and it'll take all the traffic that it receives and send it up to the controller through the CAPWAP communications it uses. And then we can tell the controller to take that data and send it to an IP address. So for example, if this is our server at .55, all that traffic can be routed unicast over to the server for analysis. Setting up sniffer mode and actually forwarding the frames to a management server is really simple. Let me walk you through it. In an infrastructure where we're using lightweight access points and the controller does all the configuration and pushing down to those access points, what we're gonna do here at the controller is go to wireless. And under wireless, we simply take the access point that we wanna convert, select it, and then from the drop down list where it says AP mode, we'd simply select sniffer right here. Once we make that change, we'd have to click on apply in the upper right hand corner. That access point would reboot and when it comes back in two or three minutes, it would come back in sniffer mode. For this demo, what I've done is I've already set access point three up in sniffer mode using that same exact technique. And it's showing us that access point three is indeed in sniffer mode. So that's our first big step is getting an access point in sniffer mode. Now the next challenge we face is even though we have an access point in sniffer mode, that doesn't mean it's actively sniffing the network. We have to tell it to go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go over to my radios. So here's all the radios I currently have up in the five gigahertz range. I'm gonna slide over to the right. And for access point three, by hovering over this dropdown list, I can go ahead and select configure. So here's access point three. And what do we need to do is we need to tell this to go ahead and start sniffing. So we need to check this checkbox. Now, because I selected the 802.11an in the five gigahertz range, it's showing us channels right here that are available in that five gigahertz range. So for example, let's say we want to start sniffing on channel 36. So we specify 36 there, and then we put in the IP address of the server that we want the controller to forward these frames to after they're received from this access point. The controller is going to add an IP header onto each of these frames as it forwards them to our destination management server. So in this case, my server is at 172.16.10.55, so we'll put that in, and then we'll click on Apply. So what's going to happen is the access point is going to see the frames. It's going to forward those over to the wireless LAN controller, and that's done via CAPWAP right here. So we're encapsulating all that data inside of IP headers. The wireless LAN controller receives all that data, and then it's going to forward that up to this guy, our management server, and it's going to have the source IP address of the controller and the destination IP address of this server. And now once the server has those frames, we can use some type of protocol analysis on the information that we received. Now the cool thing about this is I do have a server sitting right here at dot 55. So what you and I can do is use Wireshark and capture all the traffic that's coming in on that interface and analyze it. Now one of the challenges that stops many people is that once this data comes in, it's coming from the source IP address of the controller to the server, and by default, Wireshark doesn't know exactly which dissector or which method it should use to interpret those packets that it's receiving. If we are using commercial products like Air Magnet or OmniPeak, OmniPeak being from Wild Packets, those guys could properly interpret it with no problem. However, with the open source free Wireshark, we need to go ahead and give it a nudge and tell it exactly how to decode these packets that it's just received. So in Wireshark, we'll go ahead and select our Ethernet interface. That's the interface that has the last octet of dot 55, and we'll simply click on start. So now any traffic that the access point, access point three in sniffer mode sees, we're gonna go ahead and see here at this management station. So we'll go ahead and click on stop and address our final challenge. And that is, it's not showing us all the 802.11 cool stuff, specifically because Wireshark doesn't quite know how to decode this. So we click on one of these packets, for example. So it has a UDP source port of 5555, a destination port of 5000. And these are all the packets coming from the controller over to the management computer. All we need to do is grab any one of these, right click from this drop down, say decode as. And simply from this list, we're going to scroll down to peak remote. I'm hitting P just to get me in the right ballpark. And that, my friend, is the right dissector that Wireshark should use to decode this. And that will allow us to see the details 
for the wireless traffic, including the 802.11 header information. So now as an example, if I grab packet 178 and take a look at the details, it's showing me in measurable terms what's really happening. This is from an access point who's advertising a beacon for this wireless network with these supported rates. And if we open up this layer right above it, so now here we have the details, including the source address, the destination address is the broadcast, the wireless radio that's sending the signal, and the basic service set identifier. So this is a single access point doing its periodic advertisements of the SSID via a beacon. In this video, we've used an access point in sniffer mode to collect wireless frames of data. That data showed up at the management system and we used the appropriate decode in Wireshark so we could see the details of the 802.11 header. I have had a great time. I appreciate you joining me. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.